Okay, so I have been getting a fair bit of emails and DMs, people asking me what I think about what's going on with the dollar. Is the US dollar crashing? Is a petro yuan gonna replace petro dollar? And all of these news articles that are popping up. While I appreciate that you guys value my insight, um, my perception, and my ability to see things that maybe others cannot see, I should start with the disclaimer that I am not an economist and what I've labeled myself in the past is I'm just a motherfucker who's been paying attention. So what I'm about to say is just my opinion. I could end up eating sand. I could end up being completely wrong in about two to five months or even years. I don't know. Right. But there are certain patterns that I have noticed and I'm going to share that here. I hope this information will help you make the decision or the best decision that works for you. And maybe not to react in fear, depending on where you're coming from, not to make moves that are essentially triggered, reactive moves. Okay, so let's start first. First things first. The thing about this reality, or let's say the simulation, um, and for those of you who are new to this channel, if this is your first video watching, please check out my other videos. Like I said, this is different from what I normally talk about. We tend to talk about quantum physics, philosophy, parallel universes, multiverse. And every once in a while, if it's something crazy that's going on, considering that we now live in interesting times, and we have been so, I think, since 2012, it's just really weird in the simulation. Now, I do operate from the premise that we are living in a simulation. So if you are interested in that sort of idea, feel free to check out my other video. So first things first, when the simulation presents tests, pop quizzes even, it doesn't really deviate, right? It, it tends to be the same thing. It, it's not very creative. Like I've said, there is an underlining um, program in our reality that doesn't deviate from program, from its programming, and it repeats. It is said that those who fail to learn the history or learn the lessons of history are doomed to repeat. And that's because history works with the same formula. It just changes the story more or less. But the, the formula, the foundation is typically the same. I am always leery when out of the blue and all of the sudden and on clockwork, a bunch of people start talking about the same thing at the exact same time. I'm always leery when I watch something on the news on our social media that causes me to feel a negative reaction, fear, panic, and makes me feel as though I need to react without thinking, I am always leery of that. And as of now, what we're seeing out of the blue is a sudden bombardment, especially on YouTube, of, okay, you know, the, the moves that China is making, um, the dollar is failing, the dollar is crashing, Not people not realizing that... It, the dollar was actually very strong before it kind of started falling. And what I'm seeing a lot of people commenting on YouTube is that, well, the U.S. government just keeps inflating, you know, their currency and printing money. We were all across the globe, all countries shut down. Well, it wasn't just the United States that was printing money. It's not just the United States that is essentially dealing with inflation right now. If if COVID was just isolated to the United States, and that argument makes sense, but that's not being stated in the comments. And another thing that I'm noticing in the comments is that a lot of videos that are trending that are saying that the U.S. dollar is crashing and that it would, will be replaced by the yuan. Um, it's the same people commenting in every single video the same comment. Now, I think in the video prior and also on my bulletin on my YouTube channel, I talked about something called, I think it's called like the dead internet theory. And basically what they said is that the majority of videos that you see on social media, it's just a theory, but um, that gets promoted may not actually be generated by real people that they might be AI generated. Go check that out. Um, check out the previous video. I talked about it pretty quickly. Um, in my video about, I think it's called like false gods, false images and false um, and unseen realm, something like that. Um, but we, conspiracy theory aside, we know in 2023, we know that the majority of people that leave comments, especially in trending videos, are bots. And those bots aren't just happening, right? Somebody's paying for those bots to be there, for those comments to be there in order to sway public opinion. 
if you're reacting, any moves that you make that is based on what you are learning on social media and what everybody's saying at the same time, without thinking, without taking a step back and watching first and waiting till you get enough information, any move that you make, there is a, that's a program move, that's the move that you are being prompted to make. I need you to keep that in mind. I, I really, really need you. It's the same thing, guys. It's the same formula. Back in 2020, I had said on the podcast, I'm always leery when a large group of people start saying the same thing. Prior to me posting this video, I I have posted, I will have posted, I haven't posted it yet, but at the time of the recording, I'm getting ready to post this video. It's called The Present is Past. And on there basically broke down like what happened with the housing market. Remember the housing market when everybody was amping shit up? You gotta buy now, buy now, buy now, right? Like this is the time for you to buy. They, they pull the same, they pull the same shit. They pull the same shit over and over again. The same thing with crypto. Crypto will replace fiat. Fiat is dead. NFTs. NFTs are the next big thing. Metaverse. Metaverse is the next big thing. And the sheep just move. And then what what ends up happening? You pump it. What happened with with, with COVID? Do you remember that? When everybody was talking about the same thing. Then same thing. If people got driven to put things into their body that we're now finding is problematic and didn't work. Reactive, reactivity. And I were seeing the same thing happening with China. And a lot of people who are leaving these comments, I don't know where they're coming from or who these people actually are. Like I said, the majority of them are bots. But the ones who aren't, assuming there are any that aren't, don't appear to know a lot about China, <laughs> about what China is like about if they even have the capability of being a world currency. Whatever moves that they're trying to make or they're making right now, like just because you want something doesn't mean that you're just going to get it. This reality has something called a pushback. I've called it the demon program in the reality. Right. If you think that everything's just going to go the way that China wants it to go and that you think that the United States is just going to let that happen, you need to take a step all the way back to understand the United States. And that's all I'm prepared to say about that. Um, I don't, you know, on this particular network, I mean, I, I tend to get shadow banned, <laughs> which is why, you know, as, as some of you know, as, as people who regularly listen to me know, like I had a bigger reach and now I'm here on YouTube. I'm actually considering an account on Rumble, if you guys have heard anything about that. But I tend to get shadow bans. As a result, my videos don't really get a lot of reach. So I will get lost. This video more than likely will get lost in the noise. And that's quite all right. Those of you who are meant to hear this, hear it. I'm not saying that I'm right. I'm just saying that the lessons repeat. And I'm saying that if things are being like hyped up, maybe you should take a step back. Maybe you should think twice. Whatever you feel like you like doing in the moment, look back in history because it's not the same exact situation. The repeats, it's the same formula. Something gets pumped and then it gets dumped. Everyone starts talking about the same thing. When was the last time everyone was right? When was the last time the masses were right about anything? I'm not saying that we're not going to see as a result of this, a bump in Yuan. I'm not saying that, you know, the Saudis aren't going to move in a particular way. Maybe they will. I'm not saying that what is happening isn't happening. I'm just saying that it's not what things seem. And if every Tom, Dick and Harry on YouTube and on social media are saying the same thing and they're just echoing the same thing, they're doing their job. Some people aren't aware of what they're doing, but they're doing their job. The United States and the people that run this country, I'll, I'll, I'll say this and then I'll leave it. We know who runs China, more or less. It's Yin. We know, or I don't know what's Yin. I don't know how to say it. I don't know his full name. 
Um, it's a strong man, one strong man. He has people kind of controlling that he controls or whatever under him. Still a communist country. If you don't know what communism is, please go look it up. Okay. Although it's funny to me how even in a communist nation, uh, I think they have like the world's highest number of billionaires in China. I don't know how that works. Anyway, sometimes they're billionaires end up missing Jack Ma being one of them, um, the uh, CEO of Alibaba, right? And now he's having to break apart his company and take into like six different pieces. So that tends to happen. But we know who controls everything. It's Yin. I think his name is Yin. Um, same thing with Russia. We know who controls everything in Russia. It's Putin. If you think it's Biden that's actually running this country, congratulations, you played yourself. It's not Biden. You are watching today a former sitting president of the United States is being has been arrested. Name one other country. I I don't know. I I mean I've not sat down and actually done the research, so I I'm prepared to be corrected, but I can't think of one other country that a former president gets arrested. If you think it's a president that's running this country, congratulations you <laughs> you played yourself it's not the presidents they are a figurehead they are a figurehead there are people that you might walk across the street and you would never know that are really running things like somebody's playing chess while everybody's reacting and playing checkers that's all really that you need to sit sit with right all of this Everything else that you're hearing, it's noise. It's noise. The majority is usually wrong. I feel sorry for for you know the countries that are gonna gonna get swept up in this. Um, but I'm not I'm not getting rid of my dollars. It's not if if I am wrong, I'm prepared to go down with the ship. Um, but I don't know how many times people have to see the same cycle repeat before they learn. To me, it feels like a pump and dump. That's what it feels like to me. And that is being allowed to happen. We saw it happen with the housing market. We saw it happen with crypto. We, we've seen it happen with NFTs. People get pushed. Everybody's saying the same thing. And then, boom, it crashes. But I don't know. You can make the argument that, okay, well, maybe what that maybe that's what's happening with the US and it being the standard, you know, since 1944, now it's dumping. That's not what a pump and that's not how a pump and dump works. A pump and dump is for a very short amount of time. People start actually talking about something and then it corrects. It's not a long, drawn out, <laughs> almost 100 year pump. All right. Not saying that things don't get turned over you know, and things don't change. I'm just saying that COVID hit everybody hard. Everybody around the world is struggling. A lot of nations inflated to deal with the world being shut down. And I'm not biased. Like I understand fiat currency. I've spoken about fiat currency, but I'm saying all that to say this, that if you get caught up in the hype again, well, you deserve the consequences of what happens. And that's that's all I have to say. But take a step back. And if you're going to watch the news, just especially if you're going to consume the news on social media, just make sure that you're paying attention to the fact that everyone's saying the same thing and they're doing a really good job of trying to convince you of something. And I'll leave it at that.